Well, you may remember in a breaking bond report, we told you about a district court judge granting a $1 bond to a repeat offender accused of kidnapping and assaulting a woman. Just a buck. Well, tonight, that offender is back behind bars, accused of violating the conditions of his $1 bond. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from the newsroom with the latest. Randy. Yeah, Rossi, 232nd criminal district court judge Josh Hill surprised a lot of attorneys in town when he set a $1 bond for a defendant charged with a violent crime. Last year, a law went into effect prohibiting judges from granting a PR or personal recognizance bond for violent offenses. I have never seen that before. In fact, uh, when you first told me about it, I thought you were joking. A lot of defense attorneys would probably like to have 232nd Criminal District Court Judge Josh Hill grant their clients $1 bonds. By law, Hill couldn't give 43-year-old Aubrey Taylor a PR or personal recognizance bond, so he did the next best thing. Part of that decision was Senate Bill 6 does not permit personal recognizance bonds or personal bonds in these types of cases. Taylor, a habitual offender with a lengthy rap sheet, is charged with aggravated kidnapping and assault of a family member by impeding breathing. Taylor's attorney told Hill the woman involved isn't credible, and Taylor is the true victim here. He is extremely afraid of her, and he knows she knows where he lives. And that is a source of, of, of concern for him for his own safety. We still say that he's a danger to the victim and now to the community at large. Taylor apparently didn't follow his end of the judge's incredible dollar store bargain. I received a violation notice that Mr. Taylor was not in compliance with the house arrest component of his bond conditions. That's why this hearing was held. The state accuses Taylor of not following the house arrest condition of his bond. The presumption of innocence was already given when this defendant was given a $1 bond and decided in three days not to abide by any of the bond conditions and that he's been out and about in the community since then. Aubrey Taylor will remain behind bars until at least next Wednesday. That's when Hill will hold a bond revocation hearing to decide if Taylor stays behind bars or is freed again. Reporting live from the newsroom, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.